So we have two demos here today and tomorrow. This is completely related to informatica power center. So this one is not related to IACS. And this is on-premises ETL integration. So on-premises ETL. If you want to come down for IACS, mandatory, we require a power center knowledge, on-premises knowledge is required. <laughs> so before going to start the session, I would like to introduce myself first of all. I have around total 10 years of experience and I used seven years complete informatica only. So my career started with informatica. With the Teradata and SQL Server, different domains I involved like banking, insurance, clinical, and waste management system. Right now, so I'm working with RSA, Republican Service. This is the topest client in USA, God-based collector and recycler. So we are doing the work for this client, RSA, Republican Service it is. That is myself brief according to the experience. According to the teaching experience from past five years onwards. So I'm representing the batches from Vinay Technologies. So on Informatica Power Center and SQL batches we are taking, limited sessions only. So that is myself brief. My name is Feather. Then this part is completely is going to be covered. Informatica Power Center on premises, on premises tool it is. Today then we are not going to dig into the subject practical level. This is a little bit of theoretical part to know about what is mean by the ETL and what is mean by the data integration so how many tools are available in market? Why we need to done data transformations or for data loadings? So these are all significance then we'll see the significance of data integration we'll see today. Tomorrow's demo, then I will show you the complete practical implementation of Informatica Power Center. Yes, who are not shared your mail IDs so far, please share your mail IDs and phone numbers. See, Informatico is not a technology, just it is an organization. Informatico is an organization. The Informatico Corporation is providing for us different kinds of tools. Big data, intelligence, big data, intelligent cloud service, Intelligence data integration, intelligence data quality, data security, and master data management. Different tools it is providing for us to be work. So, and different process. For example, see here, Bajaj is a company. Bajaj is providing a lot of products. Okay, Bajaj Avenger bike. Bajaj Pulsar bike, like that. So in Bajaj product, Bajaj grinder, Bajaj mixer. So as for the customer requirement, so they are providing the tool. We need not to manufacture it. Just go and purchase and according to our requirement, purchase the tool and use it. Same process here also. So Informatico is a corporation. This corporation is providing for us these many of tools. So whatever tool we want, then we can go and we can select and we can use it, simple. 
but so here informatica products in informatica products the familiar product to the world that is called as integration tool it is intelligent data integration tool that is we are going to be talk here power center that is we call it as a power center okay see bajaj is providing or also honda is providing lot of bikes why activa only familiar lot of bikes activas then we can see in a city so 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 many customers are purchasing the activa why because this product directly exactly it is match with the customers sir level can start the recipe you Okay, that is we call it as a power center. It is all of you online guys. This is a related to informatica only. It's not related to the SQL server. only informatica power center this one is related to informatica power center who are not provided your mail id is please go and provide your mail id is and phone numbers okay then before going to talk about this intelligence data integration intelligent data integration it is this is called as a power center it is then we should know here before going to talk about a power center what is mean by the data intelligent intelligent data integration why we need to integrate the data why we need to integrate the data so see here data integration is means what and why we need to integrate the data means so collect the data from variant sources and place in one area for what for the analysis purpose so nowadays all business lot of business we are having those are all business they are loading their data in different areas lot of possibilities are there according to the system to store our data to store our data lot of areas are possible wherever the data are presented wherever the data are presented then simple then we can go and we can load in okay in one place why we need to integrate means yes my business spread over the world in uk or us or india so in india recording in progress and uk and then us my business was a spread spread over so one if it is so one if it is a spread over the world maybe i think uh, your device is getting noise anil raj salman durga babu pavan kumar pavan sai so this is only informatica session only informatica demo all are you for to attend this informatica only or not yes 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 sir so if it is not informatica you are looking for sql server so please drop from here and that that one will start at 11 so if it is informatica only please stay here 
and please provide your mail IDs and phone numbers. Thank you all of you guys. So see what is mean by the data integration is collect the data from variant sources. For example, my business is spread over the world. See now. So I have a business, same business in US and uh, in uh, UK and then after and you India. Same business it is. UK, US and uh, India. So then what the client is asking Client, what this guy is asking, and show me the report for all over the regions. Show me the report for all over the regions. Then what we required, we required to collect the data from all over the areas, then go and place in one area. Then only then we can say UK report, UK data, US data, Indian data, all over the region data are available there. That is mean by the integration. Collect the data from variant sources, homogeneous or heterogeneous sources. Collect the data from homogeneous or heterogeneous sources and place it into one place. Keep it into one area for to analyze the business or for to understand the business. Yes, why we need to keep in one place? From last six months, six years onwards, the business is running. So if it is running, then we have to understood what is going on there. What happened? If we don't know what happened, then we can't estimate what needs to be happened. Three questions will raise always in a business. What is going on? What happened? What needs to be happened? If I want to say what happened, okay, in all over the regions in my business, then we require integration is required here. Then what we require integration is required. Yes, my business is spread over the areas. That is what collect the data and place it into one area, place it into one area that is called as data integration. For example, best example is, see, Food Corporation of India, FCI, it is, we call it as a FCI, Food Corporation of India. What they are doing in each and every city, they have a good house, warehouses. This is, we call it as a warehouse. What is mean by the warehouse it is? Why they are maintained the warehouse means? Okay, to collect the food from all over the regions and they are placing into this good house level. Why they are placing into the good house? Entire year they need to distribute the rice to the people, food to the people. That is what they are storing in good house level. In all over the areas we are collecting and we are placing into the board. Same here also, data integration. Wherever our data is stored, okay, that data then we have to be collect and we have to place, we have to arrange in one area. So in a organized manner or in a structured manner for analysis. That is mean by the data integration it is. What kind of data we had to integrate here is, this is a pure business data it is. We had to collect the business data. Business data means, see here. So bank it is, for example, take a bank. My bank is in different cities, Hyderabad, Mumbai and Chennai branches. Hyderabad data, Mumbai data or Bangalore data. So bank is in different cities and here the transactions are going on. Yes, bank level, Hyderabad transactions, 
what kind of transactions will happen, accounts, loans, insurance, policies. So a lot of subjects will happen. See here, if it is a Pani Puri Band, yes, of course, it is also the business. Right or wrong? So simple business it is. They don't require any kind of system. But these people can't maintain system, laptop, and hardware, software, and so databases and all. But he can remind by mind what is going on in business level. He can analyze by mind by using the mind. But if it is a bank, airlines, shipping, it's never ever possibilities. Okay. Even in single city, single branch, how many transactions will happen? Lacks of transactions will happen throughout the Hyderabad, all over the branches. Crores of transactions will happen throughout the country, throughout the world. It's never ever possible to be controlled by the human. That is what we are depending on the systems. Nowadays, 90% to 80% of 80 to 90% of the business in a world completely dependent on system to store their transactions. Transaction is nothing but what is going on. That is mean by the transaction. For example, suppose supermarket is there. Daily I'm going and I am coming. Like this, daily 500 people are coming and they are purchasing something and they are coming out. If the store is not going to maintain who are coming and what they are purchasing, then they can't analyze the business, right or wrong. They don't know. After six months, they don't know what happened in the business level. That is what. What is going on should be load. That is mean by this transaction. Transactional data it is. Current data. So immediately the current data by using the application, it will load into corresponding areas, databases. It will load into database. That is, we call it as a OLTP. OLTP means online transactional process it is. Suppose if you are going to book the ticket, what happened? Immediately the ticket so is going to be load in database. Or else if you are withdraw some amount in ATM center, what happened? Immediately so and so person, so and so ATM center, so and so amount, he withdraw, then we'll get the transactional proof. Okay. Yes. If they are not loading like this, again, then I will ask the bank 10,000. 10,000, I withdraw. Again, I will ask. They don't have a proof. Yes, I can ask. So, these are all will be happened. That is what? Online transactional process. Means current data, present Actions are all they are going to be lower. Hyderabad data here, Mumbai data here, and Bangalore data here, they are loading. Okay, fine. In different areas we are having, but from last six months it is going on. Then now I want to see what happened in Hyderabad, Mumbai, and Bangalore in all over the regions. Yes, why? Because that is my business only, same bank business one. Then what we required here is, we required here, integration is required. Then collect the data. So this is called as from Hyderabad, from Mumbai, from Bangalore, and place it into one area. So this is, we call it as a OLAP. OLAP system it is. OLAP means online analytical process. So, this is mean by the integration. Collect the data from variant sources and keep it in one place. But how we have to keep it in one place? Where we have to place this one means we have to place in warehouse. See here. 
warehouse is nothing but it is a go down so if you are a maintain a store that is a if you are going to be maintain a go down that is a warehouse see here two buildings are there two buildings both are same buildings outside look and feel same this one is same and this one is same but this is a house and this is a go down it is how we can say once if you are entered into the inside architecture then you can say so if you are having bedroom kitchen hall it is a house so if you are having plain two partitions it is a go down to store our collective products this is for to leave the people residential purpose according to the purpose okay we are a calling the area we are calling as a oltp and olap olap and ol olt oltp means to load our transactional data olap means to load our analytical data it is see here before load then etl layer is required see now we had to prepare the data how it will load directly then it is not going to be load here so we required etl is required here etl means extract transform and load extract transform and load is called as etl so extract the data from from the source then we have to extract from different areas then after transform the data transform means cleans the data or validate the data or aggregate the data what format we required in that format convert the data then after then go and load it into warehouse level that is our job finally we had to prepare the warehouse ourselves so that is we call it as a warehouse it is that is we call it as a warehouse all of you online guys please provide your mail ids and phone numbers so far who didn't provide now so then only then you will get the demo documents content and video session to understand more about this informatic see etl means etl is a process process for what for to extract the data yes for example here i have a table like this data presented like this the data is presented in one table now complete order id product name or else location price and quantity price and quantity is there so here we are having order id product name quantity and price price is there then product 1 order 1 okay product name is some lakhs or something else he purchased three products and this is 150 rupees same again second order also same lakhs he purchased and four products and 200 rupees and third order and this is a milk milk it is and two packets he purchased 60 rupees and one more order also same milk so three products and it is a 90 rupees like this the data is going on purchases this is there in oldp now 
transformation means what is mean by this uh, transformation or extract and transform. Now, so here, what we are expecting here is we have to extract record by record from this table. Then after, then we need to apply the transformation. This is called as tra transformation is nothing but a logic. So apply the logic. Transformation. And then go and arrange, load it into warehouse level. The table, not like this in an aggregated format. So what the client is asking, the client don't want here, and how many are purchased the milk? How many people are purchased the milk he don't want? What he is expecting is, only he is expecting the total purchases in a milk. What we are showing here is, product one is a milk, okay? How many are sold here total? Two plus three, total five products are sold. And second one, that is a Lux. How many are sold here? Four. Seven. Four plus three, seven is sold. And what is the amount here? Milk total amount. So 150. Right or wrong? 90 plus 60. And this one, 200 plus 150, 350. Mm -hmm. So this is mean by the transformation, data transformation. We are transforming the data. In a middle, we are going to be apply the logic. So then we are loading into warehouse level. We are beautifully, we are arranging the data into this warehouse level. That is, we call it as a ETL, extract the data. Then after, transform the data, whatever format we want. In that format, convert. In the middle, we can use a lot of techniques. So that is we are going to be discussed. So how to be transformed. Then after, then we have to prepare a warehouse. Beautifully, in warehouse level, the transformed data we have to be arranged in a data warehouse level. What is mean by the data warehouse? Data warehouse is nothing but it is a database or it is an area to store your collected of information years and years and years. Keep on, keep on load it is. So years and years and years, from here to here, then we can load data from this place to this place. Yes, you can ask the question, why we need to transform the data into warehouse? So what is the purpose of this warehouse? Why we need to move means, so we need to move for the data analysis. If they want to understand the business, what happened last year, two years back. So or in only Hyderabad region, or in Chennai region, Mumbai region, profit, loss. This is all analysis. If they want to done on a business level, then we are already arranged the data in a beautiful manner to be support for analysis in warehouse level. Clear? Yeah. That is our part. So data integration is to be integrate the data from variant sources into data warehouse. Collect the data wherever it is presented. Then after that transform according to this business format, not in business, analytical format and load place into warehouse. That is our job. Our job is finished. Then who will use this data warehouse data means the reporters will use this data warehouse data to prepare the reports to this higher officials, CEO, CIO, subject matter expert, business analyst. So they will ask the report, not a data. If you are a submitted data, they can't do it anything else. For example, last six months, what happened is asking 10 trillion records are coming here. All 10 trillion records, if you are going to submit to the business analyst, it will take to analyze six months. The six months is enough to close the business. He can't take, he's not going to understand the business. He can't take the decision. He's unable to take the decision. 
then obviously business will be closed. That is what then we had to prepare integrated data in a transformed format, in analytical format, we should be loaded in warehouse level. So then after that, are going to be make this report. And by using this report, simple within single glance, they can understood what is going on here and why the Hyderabad sale down sale happened here. Why the Hyderabad down sale happened and what happened in Hyderabad location, they are going to be understand. Okay, then they will go for the decision making. And to improve the why, to improve the business, to grow the business or to predict the business. Before decision making or before improvement, each and every week, monthly, weekly, or so day by day, they need to watch how the business is going on. Otherwise, then they can't control the business. Okay. So if they are not looking what is going on in the business, obviously the business is going measure. So that is what the reporting is required here. That's why we require a report here. So, but not only in informatical. See here, lot of tools are available. ETL is a process. ETL is a pure process it is to extract the data, transform the data and load data. But if you want to transform the data or extract the data, tool we require. See, best example is driving is a process. I know driving. But if I want to drive from, if I want to travel one place to other place with my own vehicle, vehicle is required here. How then after? So otherwise, how can we use this uh, driving? Tool is required. Bike, see here. Lot of bikes are available in market. Not only single bike, activist bike, and Pulsar is also bike. Royal Enfield is also by Handley Davidson, BMW. Why the people are providing like this? As for the requirement, whatever they want, they can purchase. Suppose, for example, one person wanted to participate in racing. Money is not a matter. He purchased Activa. Activa is also by. How with the Activa he is going to participate in racing? It's not possible. Yes, of course, Activa is a bike. But he is not going to be participate with the Activa in racing. Purpose is different. It is then he need to purchase high end sports models, right or wrong. Right. But somebody else requirement is mileage. He want to travel daily from home to office. Mm -hmm. But he purchased BMW bike. How the BMW bike is going to be provided mileage? Hardly three four kilometers per kilometer for later three four kilometers it will provide as for the requirement to the organization so which tool they want to be used functionality same even though if i purchased a royal enfield or a pulsar or a shane driving is required driving is not going to be very driving is same right wrong if suppose for example so far i am using a pulsar Tomorrow, then I want to be purchase a bullet. Same driving, but environment is changed. That is a heavy bike, double engine, more weight, more CC. So, and anyway, from past 10 years onwards, I'm using different bikes. Driving is perfect. Now I want to purchase a bullet. Yes, one week or two weeks, difficulty will happen to be handle this bike. Then after it's calm. Driving is calm. Clutch, gear, everything is remaining are all at the moment. It is same process here also. So, for to done this ATL process, we are having different tools. Informatica Power Center, Informatica IICS, Pantaho, Talent, IBM Data Stage, Abinisho, Mouse of ODI, Oracle Data Integrator, 
and SQL Server Integrator, SSIS it is, SQL Server Integration Service. So, and these are all tools are there, but till the Informatica is a very familiar in data movements. Um, I am not saying this. This is a Gartner chart report it is. Till then you can see which one is the best tool in inform data movements, ETL level, Informatica Power Center for on premises level. So that is what more requirements, okay? And also, it's a very easy handling to learn. And not why they are all people are going to purchase the say one product means blindly they are not purchasing. So many aspects they will observe. Why the most of the people are purchasing Activa? So we'll observe more before going to purchase the buyer. Okay. So what we are going to observe? Price, comfort style, CC, mileage, okay, maintenance, these are all we are going to be absorbed. So this all features most probably it is going to be suitable for more people. That is what more people are purchasing actively, the same process here also. In ETL level, they are also going to be observed a lot of aspects. So security. The fast movement, how much data it can handle it, how much faster performance also is important. Mm -hmm. License, maintenance, yes, if I purchase the bike, maintenance also we need to verify. Maintenance, these are all they are going to be observed. So all these features, the Informatica Power Center is providing. That is why till the people are in enterprises, the most data movements, major data movements, major volumes, Hadoop volumes of data movements. So is done by this Informatica Power Center only till. So, but here, see here, we are going to land ETL part, extract, transform, load. That is what we are going to be select Informatica, see here. Best example is before going to purchase this or before going to learn the driving. Directly then we are not going to learn in BMW or Royal Enfield. Right or wrong? We are going for the comfort bike. After learn, then we can go for anything else. So while learning ATL process, Informatic is the best tool. Once if you learn Informatica, ATL process, then we can go and we can walk this ETL in all over the areas. That is the way then we have to be learning this one subject. Then here we are going to be cover all this. I will share with you the content in deep, day by day what we are going to be covered here. So this one is pure Informatica Power Center. It will take 30 to 40 hours, 35 to 40 hours it will take. So to be complete, all everything, then I will explain. 35 to 40 hours it will take. So daily one hour session. Monday, Saturday. Okay. Monday to Saturday it will happen. So I will provide you the real world project near one real near. Sir, how to install Informatica? One second. So project. So I will explain. So more practice scenarios and each material, live video sessions daily, then I will provide a live video sessions and FAQs for interviews to crack the interviews. So those FAQs are enough to so answer your all 90% of queries in enterprise level. So this was my number. If you want to contact with me. So for any doubts, 
then you can connect with me. After 12 to 4, I'm available. Anytime, then you can connect and you can ask any query related to informatics or your career or anything else. So these are all topics in deep we are going to be cover here. Data warehouse fundamentals, power center, workflow manager, workflow monitor, and SQL fundamentals, two, three hours. Unique fundamentals, two hours will be covered. Then along with this, real time project, I will expect. I will give you this, okay? So this was the way then we'll go. Don't worry about the informatica installation. I will give you the software and the installation also then I will explain, okay? Pure installation also then I will explain. Then after then you can go for the installation part in your systems. All of you online guys, one by one, if you have any query, please let me ask. Markandelu, Salman, Durga Babu, Pavan Kumar, Sai. Any queries? So far is clear. Tomorrow also we have a session. Courses online or offline, sir? Both are available. Parallel it will run offline and online also. Okay, sir. Timing, sir? Yes, please. Any query? Salman? Which time, sir, section? Sir, which time section? Time. Same time, 10 to 11. 10 to 11. Fix the time with this. Sir, Tell offline also the same time. Sorry? Offline is also. Offline? Yes. Offline. Okay. Parallelly, offline, offline, both will. Parallelly will. Okay. If you want to come down, please come down and practice it. And we have a good lab is there. And so okay. we are practicing daily. Lab available morning. Uh, so morning. 7 to morning 8 to evening 7. So whatever time, if it is possible to do, then you can practice it. If you have any queries, then we will do Yes, I your question. Yes, please. Okay. And I cannot do anything else here. Maybe I think it is a computer side. Anything else apart from this, guys? Thank you, guys. We'll connect tomorrow, same time, for practical. Thank you all.